Hi, and welcome back to Vines to Wine. Today is February 5th, 2010, and today we're going to discuss cane pruning. So cane pruning is a little bit different than cordon pruning. In cordon pruning, as we did before, you have the trunk and then a permanent horizontal extension of the trunk called a cordon. In cane pruning, every year you have no permanent horizontal extension along the wire. Every year you put a replacement cane down on the wire and each bud on the replacement cane is going to produce a new shoot for the following year's growth and fruit production. One-year-old wood is the most fruitful wood, and so even in cordon training, you have spur positions where you have short two-bud spurs of one-year-old wood, each of which is going to produce a shoot with some fruit in the following season. Now when we lay down a cane, each bud will produce a shoot with some fruit in the following season. So cane pruning is advantageous because it actually, instead of having two shoots per position, has one, so it spreads it out a little bit more uniformly. Also, you can really adjust the level of um, vigor in the vine, because if you have a more vigorous vine, you can have two long shoots. If you have a weaker vine, you can do two shorter shoots, or maybe even select just one shoot. With cane pruning, you can't really pre-prune because you're going to have to lay one of these canes down. So it does eliminate one pass, but it adds a second pass because you're going to have to do tying, um, which we'll show you in a minute. The most important thing about cane pruning is the selection of the right cane. You don't want a spindly cane um, to be laid down because it won't have enough reserves and growth to produce and support the following season's growth. You also don't want too vigorous of a cane, which is really thick, um, because then the internode space is going to be too long and you won't support enough shoots and you'll continue to have over vigorous growth in the following season. So now I'm going to introduce Enrique Villasenor and Armando Cervantes. Please join me over here. Both of these gentlemen work with David Abreu Vineyard Management, and they're going to demonstrate cane pruning. So go ahead, thank you guys. So the first thing that Armando is doing is he's removing most of last season's growth. And he has selected his cane for the season. So he's going to cut it to the right appropriate length of buds. In this case, he's got one, two, three, seven buds. So now he's removing again last season's growth, having already selected the cane that he's going to use. Removing last season's growth. And there's two different styles of cane pruning. There's one that leaves a replacement spur at the head of the vine, which has two buds and can be used for next year's replacement. There's others where you actually don't use a replacement spur and you select one of the base spurs off the bottom. In this case at Abreu, they do a little bit of a combination. So here he's taking a cane that came off the bottom of last year's cane, so not from a replacement spur. Sometimes this system makes you have to make bigger cuts in the vine because the spur position keeps creeping higher and higher and you'll have to make a big cut like this one. In order to protect ourselves from fungal pathogens that might enter into the vine with these larger wounds, Enrique is pasting a product called B-Lock onto the vines, which will coat the wound and protect it from fungal pathogens. You have to make sure to check with your PCA and see what's registered for your state for use in grapes and in vineyards, and make sure to have a proper pest recommendation from the PCA and follow all label instructions before applying any pesticides. So cane pruning, people say, requires more skilled labor because of the cane selection process than cordon pruning. But at the same time, I think it has its advantages, like I mentioned before, of really adjusting vine vigor to the situation at hand. 
Also, people say that the vines are less susceptible. With cane pruning, you often experience apical dominance, where the buds on the base of the cane and also the top of the cane grow first and more rapidly than the others. So some people bow the canes when they, before they tie them to the wire. We don't do that here because we believe that it will even out throughout the system, throughout the season. So here Armando has selected two canes. The next step here, which is a disadvantage of cane pruning, is that it will require a second pass to come and tie the canes to the vines. Well, I would like to say thank you to Enrique. Hi, thank you. And Armando for this fabulous demonstration. Thank you.